What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Listography. Jason, Joe, and Krams are here. 2021 recap week. And uh, we are winding down with the name Listography. Starting January 1st, we will be rebranding to the name Tastes Like Music. You don't have to do anything. Nothing will change. You'll still be subscribed to that channel when the name changes. We'll keep doing our thing. Uh, but before all that happens, we want to take a look back at 2021. Later in the week, we'll be giving you our top 10 favorite albums of the year. We'll be doing full rundowns of every album. That'll be a big one on Thursday. But right now, we're going to just take a look back at the channel over the past year. Uh, just discuss some of the videos, crazy rankings, funny things that happened, that sort of thing. Uh, we also uh, asked the viewers in our community tab to list some of those. So we'll read through a couple of those as well. So we started the year January 1st. I think that was the first video. It was uh, Albums of the Year 1997. And then the first listography of the year was ABBA. What a week for Joe getting under the... Dave Matthews is winner for 97, I believe. Or no, that was 98. 98. That was a couple a week later. Oh, my bad. And it's it's been all downhill from ABBA in 97. Ben Folds 5 was my winner that year. But a great year. OK Computer. Um, we're only in it for the money from Supergrass. Maybe the last good year of music. Great year. So yeah, since then, just purely downhill. I miss ABBA horribly. So yeah, that was, that was a fun one. The thing I take most from 2021, and we kind of saw this coming in 2020, those Cranberries fans, man, in the comments, they are a diehard group of supporters. And I know we like to, to scoff at it and, you know, rough it up in the comment sections and defend our stances. But my hat really is off to them because it's really what you're in it for is a devotion and a love for music. Just didn't really see that coming from so many Cranberries fans. And there's a few that are just like generals to that army that are relentless and it is something else. I think a, f a fun thing for me was some of the really dumb side threes that we did that actually people seem to like. I thought they would turn on us maybe or be like what are you doing guys but uh, I, the people that watch this channel were into some of those and they were like these are some of the weirdest coolest videos we've done so that that was just kind of interesting to see that uh you know we can go to some like surreal type of places and people will still be into it yeah the birds the birds video in particular i didn't really have a lot of options cutting around the comedy and the outtakes there but people seem to like it and it's a good little telescope into how close we are, a little behind the scenes. Uh, there was also that stupid ass food video we did for side three. That was awesome. Yes, not the uh, not the bands named after food, but our favorite foods that had bands named after them. Uh, <laughs> there could not be a dumber topic, but people loved that video. It was really interesting to me to see and i don't know maybe we'll get a little weirder with it going forward i wouldn't mind turning up the comedy on the channel once it tastes like music maybe get some skits in there i don't know but you know that's kind of my audio video background is putting in the humor so we'll see but one thing that's not funny is joe's love for greta van fleet and if we can all get some sort of virtual zoom call um you know intervention thing going that would be nice come on, come back at me come back at me air your grievances festivist me i would but i don't think about you at all <laughs> i stand I sit at the pier of lake michigan and just feed birds thinking about joe and Greta van fleet like that Seinfeld where he's just sitting there like. <laughs> what were your favorite listographies to listen to this year? That's a good one. Um, one of my favorite listographies to record was Sonic Youth because I just really wanted to hear Joe's opinions on anything. But we actually got some good reviews at the end with like goo and stuff like that. Um my least favorite easily 
probably three dog night. I, I, it blows my mind. I usually always, even when I disagree with Jason, respect his opinions, but I am so in a different universe with him on that band. I can't even imagine. And I can't even like, from what I know about Jason, still can't understand from Jason's point of view, how he likes three dog night. So it blows my mind. I really enjoyed, I, I enjoyed Sonic Youth for like the science experimentation of it. And same with kind of Billy Joel, just because I wanted to hear what you would say about him. Personally, you got to go Killer Bees, Beach Boys and Birds were my favorite. Definitely to listen to and record. And least favorite, I just got very little out of George Harrison in the Cranberries. I don't know. Cranberries, I kind of expected to be unthrilled with, but Oh, something about Harrison's discography. Maybe it was just when I was listening to them, I wasn't really concentrating or something, but I don't know, went over like a lead balloon with me. My favorites, I'm going these as well, Beach Boys and Black Sabbath. I enjoyed the hell out of Black Sabbath week. I, I loved listening to all those records again. Uh, least favorite. And we haven't really done one that I'm like, oh my God, this is so horrible. All of these are just kind of like, eh, why are we doing this? Uh, but for me, Eurythmics, Faith No More, and Cranberries were kind of like that. The one that was really eye-opening for me, and it was a band I really liked before a lot, but now I like really love them and had some unexpected five-star winners was Mott the Hoople. And that was a bit of a fun shoot for me because I came in here a little bit tipsy, so just had a fun time shooting that. Um, but yeah, like the albums I didn't know by Mott, loved them. Mom was definitely an interesting one. I was not very familiar with theirs and they, they impressed me for sure. Probably as far as like going in my appreciation for a band and going out of it, that was definitely the one where it was raised the most. My saddest thing about the channel, RIP GMA. Loved doing that for a few months. Hopefully we can get another style video of that on. But all in all, it's our first full year as a Holy Trinity. Obviously, I came on for a couple of videos in 2020 in March or April. And then Joe, I was like, Jason, you gotta, we got to call Joe and get him on here. And it's been fun loving with you dudes ever since. Love you guys. You're, you're the, the Neil and Getty to my life. Sin. Uh, before we go, I just want to, you know, remember the fun of uh, March badness as well. That was a highlight of the year, I think, for a lot of people. I think we're going to do it again, but I don't know. Should we do albums again? Are we going to do songs or artists? Hairdos, costumes. We talked a lot about on this, a lot about how good looking Lenny Kravitz is. Um, so maybe we can do a tournament about that. We should also shout out, this was a year of guests. We had a lot of great segments with guests, a lot of uh, recommendations. Um, we had the Nordista Freeze video. We had the video with the Smiths with Joe uh, Joe K on the Smiths video. Bringing in guests is something else we would like to do. Um, yeah, in the future, I know when we there's a good chance when we eventually remaster Tom Petty, we'll bring in huge Petty fan Dylan CV. Perhaps we've talked about that. So that's something people out there and. TLM fandom land really like we can try to amp up the guests for sure that's the thing right. if if there's if there's like a, an artist that would be reasonable to get on the channel that you like tell them about our channel like tweet at them or something or, or like help us raise awareness so I'm, I'm out there just like sending random messages to people and we've we've roped in a few but uh I think some some help from from the audience would go a long way do our work for us. Do our work for us because we ain't going to do it. Um, and one, one guest, Kramzer wasn't invited to this episode because he's a hater of country music, but Sam Outlaw, of course, five albums for people who don't like country. A lot of fun doing that one. I did watch that episode. You guys were great. Um, but yeah, you find yourself in a community thread on Reddit talking about so-and-so maybe drop our video in there who knows see what happens help us out the bigger we get the better we get and the more content you get if you like us so there you go
I think 2022 is going to be a hell of a year for Taste Like Music. Big time. Yeah, we're going to up the ante as much as we can. Thanks, everyone, for watching all year long. Last year, if you've been around that long. And uh, we hope you stick around. Uh, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. And we'll see you when we're doing albums of the year, I guess. See you then. Thank <laughs> you.